hello guys welcome back to another android studio tutorial so we can add a fragment in two ways first one we can add directly through xml file second option you can add or remove a fragment at the runtime so here in this episode here i am going to create a simple example that demonstrate how to add a fragment through xml file so now we can start with a new android studio project specify the application name here i name it as fragment example select an empty activity uh, here the project is created so now here i am going to add two fragments to the main activity through xml file uh, so first here i am going to create two separate fragments like activity fragments also have a class file and a separate layout file so now here i am going to create two separate fragments so first here i am going to create the class file for the fragment so cre create a new java class I name it as headline fragment so this is the java class for the fragment now we need to create a layout for this fragment so expand resource folder right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource specify the file name uh, here i name it as headline fragment layout so this is the layout for the headline fragment so now here i am going to add some text to this layout so change this one into blueprint now here i am going to add a text to view now specify the constraint for the text to view specify constraint at the top specify constraint on left and right now change the margin on the top into 32 now here I need a constraint at the bottom also. Uh, at the bottom also I am going to use the same margin. Okay. Now select the text view. Make it bold. Align the text at the center. Now change the text size into 30 SP. Now I am going to change the text. I name it as headline fragment now we can view the design so this is the layout for the first fragment now go to the headline fragment class file so this is a fragment class so you need to extends fragment select fragment from the support library so like activity here also you need to overwrite some lifecycle method so here the method is on create view so in the case of an activity you need to override on create method but in the case of a fragment you need to override the method called on create view so for this method uh, we have some parameters like an object of layout inflator a view group object and the last one is a bundle object so from this method we can inflate the layout so here I simply delete the return statement so from this method we have to return a view object so create some view object now we can inflate the layout using the first parameter the first parameter is an object of layout inflator so by use that object you can call a method called inflate so here the first parameter is the layout resource so our layout name is headline fragment layout second parameter is the view group here the view group is container and final one is a boolean attached to root so now you can pass false for it and finally we can return that object from this method 
So now the fragment is ready. So this is the first fragment. Here the this is the fragment class and this is the fragment layout. Now here I am going to add one more fragment. So first create the class for the fragment. Create another Java class. I name it as article fragment. Now we need to create the layout for the new fragment. So create the layout file. Here I name it as article fragment layout. Now go to the previous layout. I copy the entire code segments. Now go to the new layout. Go to the XML version. Okay. So here we need to modify the text. This one is the article fragment. Okay, uh, now go to the class file. So this extends fragment and override the method on create view method so now we can return the view in a single statement uh, inflator dot inflate specify the layout resource here it is article fragment layout container Okay, so now here in this application we have two fragments, headline fragment and an article fragment. So we create the layouts and class files. Now we need to add these two fragments to the main activity through XML file. So now I close all these files. Now we can open main activity, uh, layout for the main activity. So this is the layout for the main activity. Go to the XML version of that layout. So for reasons, here I'm going to modify the root element of this layout into a linear layout. So by using linear layout, we can align view components horizontally and vertically. So here I need to align the components vertically. So I have to specify the orientation for this layout. So here we need to add one more attribute called orientation. Here I need vertical orientation. Here is a text to view is available. So remove it. So if you want to add a fragment through XML, you have to specify a fragment XML item on the layout file. So here we need to add two fragments. So here I'm going to add the first fragment. Specify the width as much parent. Height into 0 dp. Now specify an ID for the fragment. This is headline fragment. Now specify a layout weight. I specify layout weight into one. Okay. So now we need to specify the class for the fragment. So you can specify the class for the fragment by using this attribute called the name. Now you need to specify the class for the fragment. This one is headline fragment. Now we need to add one more fragment. So I copy that fragment, put it here. So this is article fragment. Now modify the class name. Here the class is article fragment. Now change the weight into 2. So now we successfully add the two fragment to the main activity. So now we can test our application. So we can start some virtual device. Ok, 
okay now here the virtual device is ready uh, now we can run the application so click the run button select the virtual device so now here the application available on this virtual device so this is the first fragment and here is the second fragment so here instead of creating two activity for headline and articles here we create two fragments and we add the two fragment to the main activity through the xml file so this is how we add fragments to the activity through xml i hope you understand all these concepts for getting more video updates please subscribe to this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode